Greg Berhalter had some words of encouragement for Christian Pulisic in the wake of his Champions League performance against Ajax. The US coach suggesting that maybe Pulisic is in the same kind of boat as Antoine Griezmann and of course the man he's replaced at Chelsea, Eden Hazard, in adapting to his new environment and struggling to get minutes in certain respects and also struggling to find his place. Um, how do you think he's done so far? Yeah, I think it is a growing period for him and really a, a period where you, you need to have as a player. He's been given, in, in all accounts, he's been given some time to, to adapt and I think that's the right way. We've seen what Christian Pulisic can do, right? So when you move a league and any player that's moved from league to league, there's different challenges. Um, what Greg is saying is he's trying to point out, and he's not saying he's at the level of Griezmann or Hazard, but what he's saying is all players need time. And sometimes you're not given that time. And when you're not given that time and you aren't up to performing, you, you lose the fans, sometimes you lose the coach, sometimes you lose your teammates. And the fact that Frank Lampard's allowed him to, to settle in, get into a rhythm, and I'm not talking just on the field, I'm talking off the field. Things matter when you move leagues, and those things are important. Um, you saw glimpses of, of things throughout his appearances, and especially in this last game in the Champions League. So I like the fact that he's given a little bit more time. It's frustrating for a player. It is, and um, you can understand there's times when he's come out and he said he's frustrated. But what I would say to him is every player, almost to a man, goes through this little period. And the fact that your coach is giving you time and understands that this time is needed, I think is going to be a benefit in the long, long run. Yeah, he, it's a growing period, as you said, and, and Berhalter also was extremely encouraged by the fact he's in a great group, young players, and of course Frank Lampard with that track record, and he's also come out with some words of encouragement as well, suggesting he's getting even closer to the starting 11. Yep. Competition for places is high. They've already placed their faith in him with the transfer fee, right? So all he has to do, in a way, is, is play ball, work harder, come out with a soundbite which says I'm frustrated as well, because that, that speaks volumes about his ambition. Sure. Everything seems to be heading in the right direction, and it's very interesting to see people who have taken his playing time, or lack thereof at the moment, as a negative so far. And I understand it, because from the outside looking in, you want, a, as a player, you want to see your favorite player, as a fan, you want to see your favorite player go to a new club and just light it up. And that happens sometimes, but when it doesn't, don't think it's this way or that way. Don't think it's fail or you know, you're, you're making to the, the top levels. Think of it as this period of settling in to give you a base, to allow you to then grow upon that base, understanding the system. Those young players that are at Chelsea, they understand the system. Mason Mount was played for, for Lampard at Derby last year. So those things are, are part of your foundation. And once you get those, I see incredible growth for Christian ahead. Yep, certainly seems that way for Chelsea, who appear very happy with his contribution to win a vital three points in Amsterdam. Another great experience for Pulisic coming off the bench and Lampard suggesting himself it won't be long before he's pulling on the starting shirt at Stamford Bridge. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.